Today, President Obama became the first sitting president of the United States to visit Ethiopia. He traveled there from his father's homeland, Kenya, where he spoke out against restrictive laws governing homosexuality and took on the illegal ivory trade. But his trip to Africa has had plenty of lighter moments as well, as he reconnected with family and showed off some new moves on the dance floor. Chief White House correspondent Major Garrett is with the president in Africa. Abariki. Kenya. At the state dinner held to honor a U.S. president and his ancestral home, President Obama said good evening in Swahili and joked about an issue that bedeviled the early years of his presidency. I suspect that some of my critics back home uh, are suggesting that I'm back here to look for my birth certificate. <laughs> Mr. Obama capped off the evening with an impromptu session of line dancing with Kenya's president, Uhuru Kenyatta. Before a speech to 4,500 cheering Kenyans, the president's half-sister, Alma, called the president a son of Kenyan soil. He gets us. He's one of us. But we're happy to share him with the world, right? As president, Mr. Obama has never stepped so confidently into his Kenyan past or reflected so publicly on its power. We know our history so that we can learn from it. There's a proverb that says, we have not inherited this land from our forebears, we have borrowed it from our children. While immersing himself in his own history, the president told Kenya, where 60% of the population is 25 or younger, his past need not be their future. A young, ambitious Kenyan today should not have to do what my grandfather did and serve a foreign master. You don't need to do what my father did and leave your home in order to get a good education. Kenyans have embraced it all, the president's past, his presence, and their future, all seen through the arc of the American presidency and its trappings, especially Air Force One. The president is in Ethiopia now, but he told a story in Nairobi about his first trip to Kenya more than 25 years ago. The airlines lost his luggage. That doesn't happen on Air Force One, the president joked, making clear that little, if anything, he holds dear in Kenya has been lost. Jim? Major Garrett traveling with the president in Ethiopia tonight. Thank you.